This episode was made possible by Skillshare. The first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. On August 12, 2020, a Turkish and a Greek warship collided in the Mediterranean Sea. The incident shows just how tense the situation has become. While in the last video we looked at the current energy supply in Turkey, in this video we want to look at the disputes arising in the Eastern Mediterranean. It is very likely that there are huge reserves of natural gas and oil in the eastern Mediterranean, which are currently mostly unexplored. This has become the subject of a dispute about exclusive economic zones, which are areas in the sea where a nation has the sole rights to explore the resources, for example natural gas deposits. To understand the conflicts, let's first consider how maritime borders generally work. In order to avoid disputes, maritime rights are regulated in the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Accordingly, the coastal strip of 12 nautical miles is regarded as territorial sea. This is an area in which the respective country exercises full sovereignty. The zone up to 200 nautical miles is the exclusive economic zone. Here a nation does not have full sovereignty, but it has sole rights to the exploitation of resources. But what happens when such territorial claims overlap? Then it is up to the nations to come to an agreement, whereby usually the median line is drawn. Within 200 nautical miles, it is simply said that any location belongs to the nation to which it is closest. Now let's consider the situation in the Mediterranean Sea. Most countries in the world signed the UN Convention that outlines these rules, including all members of the European Union. In the Eastern Mediterranean, however, three countries have not signed this agreement. Syria, Israel and Turkey. So the maritime borders are not resolved. And the current dispute over economic zones is reigniting two old existing conflicts between Turkey and Greece. First, the territorial dispute in the Aegean Sea. Greece has many islands in this body of water, some of which are directly off the Turkish coast, which means Turkey has very little exclusive access to this sea. Currently, both countries implement their territorial claim as 6 nautical miles. However, Greece argues that the country is entitled to 12 nautical miles under the UN Convention. This would benefit Greece significantly more than Turkey, because the Greek islands are so close to Turkey anyway. So any increase in the number of nautical miles that the two countries consider to be territorial waters would hardly result in any real size increase for Turkey. It is a complex dispute which also centers around whether or not Greece has broken international agreements that bind the nation not to use these islands for military purposes. Part of the Treaty of Lausanne in 1923 was the extensive demilitarization of these islands, which is no longer followed. Greece, however, sees this as legitimate self-defense in the background of the clashes over these territories. Another conflict that is affecting the territorial claims in the Mediterranean is the disagreements over the status of Cyprus. The island, whose population is mainly composed of Cypriot Greeks and Cypriot Turks, has been caught in the tense relations between the two countries for decades. Cyprus is divided into two parts. The southern part is the Republic of Cyprus, which has been part of the European Union since 2004. So according to the EU, the entire island is the national territory of the Republic of Cyprus. De facto, however, the northern part is the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, which is only accepted by Turkey. The two areas are separated by a United Nations buffer zone. 
and there are also two British military bases on the island. The current search for gas in the Mediterranean is heating up these two territorial conflicts that have existed for decades, as exploration missions have found a number of significant gas fields over the past years. The largest one found to date is the natural gas field Zor, which was discovered in 2015. If the estimates are correct, this field alone will almost double the gas reserves of Egypt. Off the coast of Israel, the Tamar and Leviathan gas fields were discovered, and south of the island of Cyprus, there is the Aphrodite field. If you look at the exclusive economic zones defined by Greece and Cyprus, it becomes clear that Turkey only has exclusive rights in a very small area. But Turkey has a different view. This is the area where Turkey sees its exclusive claim. In addition, there is this area, which Northern Cyprus claims and which the country wants to open up for Turkish exploration. Essentially, this means there are two versions of the map, each of which would totally benefit either Turkey or Greece. In addition, both countries are trying to delegitimize the other country's claims with international agreements. For example, Turkey has signed an agreement with the Tripoli-based government in Libya, in which a corridor was agreed upon which the two countries meet, undermining the Greek claims. And Greece has signed an agreement with Egypt, in which both countries confirm their claims. Two international agreements going crosswise to each other. Greece is also supporting a planned gas pipeline project between Israel, the Republic of Cyprus and itself. Earlier we mentioned the huge Leviathan and Aphrodite gas fields. The planned pipeline is to connect the Israeli and Cypriot fields with each other and pump gas from the eastern Mediterranean to Europe, therefore bypassing Turkey. Turkey is strongly opposed to this project, which will run through the corridor defined by Turkey and Libya. And the country is currently trying to enforce its claim by searching for gas deposits in areas that, by UN convention, are part of Greece's exclusive economic zone. The Turkish ship Orich Reis is accompanied by several Turkish military warships, which has led to standoffs in the Mediterranean, leading to incidents such as the mid-August collision between a Greek and a Turkish ship. The disputes in the Mediterranean are complex, because it is not just about the new exploration of gas fields, it is also about unresolved conflicts between Turkey and Greece, such as in the Aegean and Cyprus. Furthermore, a number of relationships between different riparian nations play an important role, and new strategic partnerships are emerging. A lot of people ask me how I make my videos, especially when it comes to researching topics and creating these animations. Luckily, there is a great place for you to learn all the skills necessary to create videos yourself. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of classes on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, and so much more. For example, if you want to start a YouTube channel, I would highly recommend Polymatters classes that will teach you everything you need to know, from choosing the right topics, to researching, and even how to create good thumbnails. Or if, just like me, you're really interested in map design, then you will love the courses on data visualization. When you become a member of Skillshare, you can take these classes as well as thousands of others on nearly any subject you can imagine. And you can get a completely free trial of Skillshare by being one of the first 1000 people to use the link in my description. Thank you for watching, and thank you so much for supporting this channel.